Okay, in this example, we've got the linear equation y equals negative 1 over 2 multiplied by x plus 3, and we're just going to fill in the y column. So we've got one of these, sometimes they're called t-charts. We've got the x value of negative 4, x value of 0, x value of positive 4, and we want to figure out the corresponding y values. So it's just a matter of doing a bit of substitution and some arithmetic. So if x equals negative 4, we'll have y equals negative 1 half multiplied by negative 4 plus 3. So I'm just replacing my x with negative 4. That's all I've done here. Well, negative 4, I can write that as negative 4 over 1. And I just put some parentheses around the negative 1 half just to sort of visually break it up. Not necessary, but to me it just looks a little, a little better. So recall when you have fractions, you just multiply across the, the top, the numerator, and you multiply across the bottom, the denominator. So on the top part, I have negative 1 multiplied by negative 4. That's going to give me positive 4. 2 multiplied by 1 is going to give me 2. I still have my positive 3 just hanging out over there. 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 3. Well, 2 plus 3 is going to give us 5. Okay, so it says if we substitute in the value of negative 4, we're going to get the value of positive 5. Okay, let's do the same thing with x equals 0 next. So if x equals 0, we would have y equals negative 1 half multiplied by 0 plus 3. So this one's a little bit easier because 0 multiplied by anything is 0. And 0 plus 3 is just going to leave us with positive 3. So it says if we substitute in 0, we get positive 3. And last but not least, suppose we use y equals positive 4. Well, we would have negative 1 half multiplied by 4 plus 3. Well, we saw that negative 1 half multiplied by negative 4 was going to give us positive 2. Negative 1 half multiplied by positive 4 is going to leave us with negative 2. And you can go through the exact same, you know, arithmetic. The only thing that's going to change is you'll have a negative times a positive, which would give you a negative. So we've got negative 2 plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3, that's going to leave us with positive 1. So it says if we substitute in x equals positive 4, we'll get the y value of positive 1. And that's it. Now we're finished. So Maybe you wanted to graph that original line. You could pick any one of these two points. You could pick, you know, either the point negative 4, 5, 0, 3, 4, 1. Pick two of those three. You could put the dots on the graph, play connect the dots, and you would have the graph of that original, that original linear equation, y equals negative 1 half x plus 3.